Hey guys, Kevin here with eTrail and today we're going to be taking a look at the Moride Latch Extender. So there are a couple of requirements for this latch extender. You are going to need about an inch and a half from the center of your door handle lock to your deadbolt lock. Right here we have about two and looks like almost three eighths. And then you're also going to need from that lock down about 16 and three quarter inches. Obviously, if you have nothing in the way, you're good to go. And then also you'll need about five and three quarter inches of clearance from the side of your door over. Obviously, like I said, if there's nothing in the way, all good to go. You can easily put that in place. Now this will kind of block that old style uh, door handle that you could use to get up into your camper. So uh, go ahead and get yourself the safety rail. That'll slip right out and then you don't have to worry about that kind of coming over. If you do have that older style pop up and kind of swing over handle, you're only going to be able to go the opposite way. So in our case here, they wouldn't be able to do that because there is this slide topper in the way and then also the slide out is also in the way. So it's not going to sit flush. Overall, I think this is a great option if you have kids that need to get in and out of the trailer and if you have fold on steps. So we don't really have any way to get up here since we have fold on steps in our camper. So if I was a little kid, this gives me a little bit better opportunity to kind of reach up and grab it versus having to reach Ray up and get into that actual handle. So I can easily pull it open and then grab our fold-on steps and pull them down. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little piece right here. This is going to thread into the latch extender. I'm going to get this just started on here because this is what's going to hold it to our door latch. Now we can go ahead and kind of get this centered on our door latch and then we'll tighten it down the rest of the way so that we can get our bracket for our bottom part kind of set in place and then drill out our holes. Tighten this down just a bit more. It's going to kind of try and move on you. So you may need to kind of back it off and move it back down if it starts to get too far out. All right, that's good. So it's gonna be two little sides here. So I'm gonna have that flush right here. This is kind of our closed position. So I'll have that flush and then we'll set the bar so that it's level. So if we pull out our tape measure, you can kind of just put it up to the trim on the door and see kind of where that bar sits. So right now the left side of that bar is sitting right about three inches here. And so maybe you come out just a little to match because up top it's sitting right at about three and an eighth. So we're pretty level right there. Let's go ahead and drill out one of my holes just a bit just to get this started. I'm not going to go all the way through yet because I do need to open the door just so that we don't accidentally drill into anything else. We'll take our screen out of the way and then I can fully drill through. You're going to have three bolts with three little rubber gaskets. We're going to stick those gaskets all the way at the bolt head. And once we get that down we can go ahead and take one of our nuts and we'll slip this through. All right, I get my bolt popped through. We're gonna go ahead and we'll take our backing plate and we'll slip that on. And then we can start screwing on our nut. We have to press a little bit. That gasket's gonna try and kind of fight us here. So we'll just get that started and then we can go ahead and drill out the rest of our holes. I'm also going to slip this up just to keep it out of the way. I don't want to take a chance of that not lining up just because I don't have it fully tightened down yet. So go ahead and drill out the other holes. Now I'm just going to go ahead and tighten down our nuts. Get this nice and secure. So if you need to make any adjustments with the uh, pivoting portion of this, so right here you'll have the same little bolt 
with a nut, you can go ahead and tighten or loosen that as needed. It's also gonna be two bolts, one on each side here. This was a little bit loose when I first got it, so I already tightened that up, but that's what you can do to fix that. And then the last step here is just going ahead and tightening up our little bolt that's inside of this handle the rest of the way. And then we're good to go. Well, I think that about does it for today's look at the Moorite Latch Extender. My name's Kevin. Thanks for watching.